Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and in this video series, I'm going to show you how to make a RESTful API using Node.js and Express. Okay, in the last video, we uh, um, installed uh, uh, the Express Generator package from NPM, and uh, we created a, uh, a really quick uh, project with some boilerplate code. Um, we installed the dependencies uh, using the npm install command, and uh, I initialized a git repository. I uh, had a little bit of problem. Uh, I just figured out what it was. Um, I, I did not include my git ignore file in the root directory. So anyway, um, if you're following along, uh, create this file in the root directory called .gitignore. Make sure that you add node modules, and if you're using a Mac, Add this file name to .ds underscore store, uh, just so uh, whenever you make commits and uh, you know upload them to GitHub, uh, you're not including this directory or that file because it's totally unnecessary. Uh, okay, so anyway, um, let's let's get this sample application running. Um, how do you do that? Well, you can do this in one of two different ways. Um, the easiest way uh, to do it is uh, by running this command npm start. Okay, when you run npm start, the uh, Express application will begin. You'll have a web server running locally on your computer, and, uh, and yeah, you can view it. So npm start in the command. Okay, it's running. All right, let's go to our browser. I'm going to close these. We don't need this stuff. All right, and go to localhost colon 3000. So localhost, that's just, um, you know, um, um, that's just uh, the, the web, the server running locally. And then colon 3000, that refers to the port number, so port 3000. Okay, we're running it. And look at that! It's a very simple site, but this is our Node and Express website. It's a web server, and uh, when we go to the uh, root route, we get this title, Express, and uh, welcome to Express. And if you go back to your terminal, uh, you get like some logging information right here. Uh, it says right here, we, we got a git request to uh, this uh, root directory with a status uh, 200. That's a good status. Uh, and then uh, we got the request for the style sheets. And uh, there is a request for a favicon, which is the little icon that appears in the uh, uh, in the tabs of your browser. Uh, we don't have a favicon, so it returned with the status of 404 not found. Anyway, we got our uh, web server up and running, and uh, let's dive into the, uh, the the boilerplate and see what exactly is happening. So. We've got our package.json with our dependencies listed right here, and uh, and uh, you know it's got some other information. We ran a command um, called npm start, and this is where that comes from. So uh, npm, okay, that is the um, that's the package manager, and uh, this is the start command. So to run this project, I can type npm start, or I could uh, just write node. Uh, dot slash bin slash www, um, which is totally fine. It does the same thing, but you know, writing npm start is you know so much faster. So what is the heart of this uh, server? Well, how is this actually working? Well, there's two files that we need to look at, and um, you know before before I show you, I just want to say you know everyone structures their um, Node and Express applications a little bit differently. Uh, the creators of this uh, package, the Express Generator package, um, they you know they have their own opinions of how an Express application should be um, you know set up. Um, you know th these are not hard and fast rules. Um, I just really like this um, uh, this package because it's just a super way uh, fast way to get up and running. Uh, so anyway, without further ado, all right. If you go to this bin directory and double click www. Okay, this is where the magic happens. Okay, this is um, this is where uh, our server is getting created. So uh, we need a, a couple of um, a couple of dependencies, and this is how uh, we um, require or import dependencies in Node.js using the require keyword. Um, we're going to require app, uh, which is this file here, app.js. 
we'll take a look at that in just a moment. Uh, we're going to require an NPM uh, package called debug, and uh, that's right here in our package.json, and that's just for debugging, you know, sort of information. And then we're going to uh, uh, require this package, uh, HTTP, which is a core package of Node.js. Um, you don't have to install that with NPM. It just comes already prepackaged with Node.js. Uh, so basically, you can just follow along with the comments. It tells you exactly, um, you know, what everything is. So, um, so, so uh, it, it, when, when you're developing uh, applications, you're either in a development environment or in a, a, a production environment. Um, right now, you know, we're we're not in production. We're just in development. So uh, we don't have a port number. Um, you know, uh, the, you know for, for this project, so it defaults to port 3000. And then uh, basically creating a server is as simple as doing this, var server equals HTTP dot create server, and that's it. Uh, and then we listen to the port, uh, which, you know, we get from up here. And then, um, and then we do some error handling, you know, right here as well. Um, uh, and then this is just some other, you know, um, you know, um, sort of setup for us uh, to handle, you know, errors and uh, and um, it, it uh, you know prints out, you know, errors if we you know run into any problems and stuff like that. So basically, um, this bin slash www file is just creating um, and doing some uh, some standard setting up. For, uh, for our web server and for printing out the errors. Um, don't worry about this too much, but you know, if, you're, if you're really interested, uh, definitely you know, look at it in your free time and, and take a look at it. Right here, this is where the main application uh, you know, file is. Um, so we're requiring a whole bunch of those NPM packages. Here's Express, um, Path, is a, this is a core Node.js package. Um, Favicon, we installed with NPM, as did uh, Morgan, uh, Cookie and Body Parser. Some of these packages we're not going to need uh, for our project, so um, we're, we're going to remove those in, in a little bit. Um, here we're setting up the view engine. Uh, the view engine, we're going to use Jade. And Jade is, um, is like an HTML preprocessor, and it's just a very fast way to you know, create HTML. This is an example of uh, some Jade right there, so um, there it is. Um, we're setting up some of the, uh, you know, um, so some of the uh, you know, node modules right here, so that's what we're doing. Um, so we're, we're, we're telling Express basically to use these different uh, modules and we're passing it some uh, different you know, options and, and configurations. And again, we're, we're not going to use you know, a lot of these, so it's not like a particularly you know, important. Um, of importance though, here's the logger. Uh, so we're going to log uh, any sort of errors uh, only if it's in a development environment. In production, when it's on the web, you know, if, if something breaks, you don't want the users to see your, you know, um, your stack traces or your error messages. So we're just specifying only display errors in the development environment. Uh, body and cookie parser, uh, we're not going to use it, so no need to uh, mention that. Uh, right here, this kind of funky line of code, this is uh, setting our um, static folder um, to, to the public directory. So if there's any, you know, images or style sheets or, you know, anything that we need, uh, we can just, you know, put it in this public folder. And, you know, we don't have to say, you know, slash public or anything like that. Um, it, it will just, you know, automatically look at here and that's what's going on. Um, here we've got like some different routes or routes, however you want to pronounce it. And uh, using the um, Using the, uh, the the boilerplate from Express Generator, it creates two routes for us: an index route and a users route. Uh, we'll use the index route, but we're not creating users, so there's no need to um, to keep that one. And then at the bottom, uh, we get some more stuff for catching 404s and uh, and handling different errors and things like that. Um, and uh, and this right here. This is a, an important line of code, um, module.exports. So, so basically, um, if we want to make this, uh, this variable here, okay, this variable app, it comes up all the way here. 
uh, create app.express and express is from up here. So basically it's a it's an instance of the express object. If we want to make this um, instance like available throughout our application, then we just write module.exports equals and then whatever we want to you know uh, make available. Um, okay, so these are like the two most important files. Um, I've already showed you the node modules, so that's just a big folder con containing all of our modules. And public, this is where we'll put our static uh, images and JavaScript and style sheets. Um, for this project, uh, we're not going to have any images and we'll, we'll barely even touch, I don't even think we'll touch the, um, the style sheet. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, that's where it would go. Um, for for the roots, uh, this is where we're going to handle uh, all of our roots. Um, so basically, what happens like uh, when you go to the root directory or like the home directory, like the home page? Well, you have to handle that in the root. And uh, if you recall from uh, you know the the example uh, uh, from the first video, I showed you how that microservice worked when I uh, you know typed in a uh, a, a Unix timestamp or uh, a natural language uh, you know uh, string uh, like you know December fifteenth two thousand fifteen. You know that's also handled in here. So this is where you know a lot of the um, a lot of the this is where all the roots happen right here. So we'll get into that in just a moment. And then uh, views. Uh, this is where um, th this is you know all the HTML uh, that that you see. Um, and we've got three basic views. Uh, we've got the layout, uh, index, and uh, an an error. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's let's stop here for now. In the next video, I'm going to show you more about these uh, views and what they do. And then we will uh, get into the uh, roots and uh, and start uh, start programming finally. Hopefully, uh, this is a I know this is this is a whole bunch of stuff, and and I'm assuming that most people um, you know have not uh, learned Node and and Express. So if this is you know kind of boring for you, if uh, if you want to you know skip ahead by all means, but uh, uh, we're gonna keep trucking along, and and pretty soon we're gonna tackle this free code camp challenge. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.